This is an opium poppy. It saps euphoric effects may be familiar with those who use opioid-based products. The sap's origins as a medicinal painkiller can be traced all the way back to the 19th. The first mainstream form of an opioid-based painkiller is morphine, marketing during the 1800s as a solution to headaches or common pains. Eventually, doctors began prescribing these painkillers more and more frequently to patients in need of treatment for their pains. This raised awareness to the common population about the opium's euphoric effects and it caused them to use it increasingly more as a recreational drug rather than a medication for pains. The main reason opioids were increasingly used as recreational drugs is because of the ingredient morphine. Morphine mimics endorphins, which are responsible for creating a sense of calm and well-being. Many other opioids have caused problems in the past. For example, during the 80s, heroin was a very popular product and caused many overdoses. However, today, the biggest killer is synthetic opioids. The most popular synthetic opioid, fentanyl, is 50 times more powerful than even heroin. Fentanyl is also more addictive than any other traditional opioid. Fentanyl is causing addiction rates to increase, which is also causing overdose rates to increase, which is causing more and more deaths to occur across the United States. The main producer of fentanyl is Chinese pharmaceutical companies, who creates these in labs and sends it to the U.S. through traditional shipping companies. However, Chinese companies aren't the only source of synthetic opioids in the United States. Drug cartels are also responsible for a large amount of the opioids within the United States. These two sources alone have been able to create a whole new crisis in which we have synthetic drugs instead of something like heroin. California Although it doesn't have the highest overdose rates in the nation, it has definitely not been left untouched by this horrible epidemic. As you can see in this graph, 11 out of every 100,000 people have died due to the drug overdoses in California in 2015 alone. Although it may not seem like much, if you account for California's population of nearly 30 million, that's almost 4,000 people dead. That's more than the amount of people who lost their lives on the September 11th attacks in New York City. If we can declare a war on terror from only 2,000 people dying, how come we cannot declare a war on opioids for nearly 4,000 people dying? And that's only in one state. It's not even counting all the other deaths in nearly every other state in the United States of America. Just some of the ways that we can combat this issue is we can take to the streets and protest this. We can also create awareness campaigns and make sure people know about the dangers. There are many other ways, but these are just some. I, and many others like me, would really appreciate to see more done on this pressing issue. And hopefully, we will see a decline in drug uses and addiction. If this issue is lessened, it would be a great relief to our community and would greatly affect our next generation in a good way. Secretary Dooley and anyone else from the state government who is listening, this is probably one of the most important things you will do in your career. If you manage to lessen the statistics of drug addiction and overdose, you would be greatly remembered for all the amazing things that you did for people who are suffering from addiction and for people who live in California. This has been the Trollcast, and I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. As always, I'll see you guys in the next podcast. I'll be Troll Gaming out.